they're going to join. Hi, Facebook. How are you all? Very nice to see you. I am back in my kitchen. So just saying to our friends here on Instagram that by popular demand, I'm going to cook something really super quick and easy. It's a post-workout snack. You may have seen it actually on um, the Lizard Wellbeing website. Oh, I'm just checking. I've got my camera set up at a slightly different... Um, Oops, sorry, I'm putting my hand over the screen. There we go. Hopefully that is all good for you. Very nice to see you all. Hi, Carol. Nice to see you. Hi, Susan, Jay, Joe, Nikki. Excellent. Lovely to have you all with me. Hi, lots of waves. Hi, Anne-Marie. Yeah, from Scotland. All is good. All is good and well. Had my youngest off to school today, so I was doing the school run, making sure that we had everything. Oh my goodness, anybody else done that? Quite nice, I have to say, end of the Easter holidays. To get back to a little bit of normality and have a calm house. So if you look at the Lazar Wellbeing website, you will see that there is a recipe. It's a new one that's gone up and it is for banana, peanut butter and oat cookies. And we've said that it's for a post-workout snack. And they are great. My kids, I have to say, absolutely love these. And they're super easy. In fact, they're really good. You know, kids can help you make them if you want. Um, I'm just using five really simple ingredients. I'm going to start, start over here, with a couple of ripe bananas. So I'm just going to mash these. And that gives the kind of banana -y flavor. I find banana and peanut butter is always a good combination, isn't it? So this is actually a really good recipe if you want to use up ripe bananas, sort of making endless amounts of banana bread that we were all doing, weren't we, during lockdown. That's where I started cooking, actually. That's where I started my lives. My goodness, what was that, two years ago? Yeah, more than. Amazing. How time flies, and hopefully back to some degree of normality now. So anyway, so that is two bananas that I'm just mashing and then I'm going to use some oats so this is it's high in protein but it's also got slow release carbs I'm not using any sugar so I don't find you need the sugar at all the bananas definitely give enough sweetness so I've mixed those don't know if you can see but that's just literally a couple of bananas mashed in the bowl and into that I'm going to use some oats so I've got some nice organic British oats here and this is let me just check the amounts I want to work from the same recipe so that I give you all the right quantities 250 grams of oats so that's just going to go literally I've just got oats and banana mixed in here like so just mix them all up and then I'm going to add peanut butter I'm going to add crunchy peanut butter just because I really like the the taste and the extra little crunch and texture but you could use if you didn't want to use peanut butter you could use almond butter you could use cashew butter um, whatever your preference is really but peanuts of course really high in protein so they're a really good good quality snack to have and in fact if you can find them I know some supermarkets sell the bags of monkey nuts in the shell they make a really good snack because they take a while to eat so it's not like just diving into a bag of crisps. You know, you do actually have to shell them, which kind of slows everything down. So I tend not to overeat if I'm snacking on whole peanuts. So I'm putting those in. And then I'm going to add to that one teaspoon of vanilla extract, or vanilla essence. I've got some pure vanilla essence here. So I'm just going to add a teaspoon of that. Generous teaspoon, because I love the flavour of vanilla. A little bit of salt, just little grinds of salt going into there for the flavour. And then I'm going to use six dessert spoons of the peanut butter. I'll just count this out. Don't have to be super precise. One, two, three. Anybody made these already? They are a good one, I have to say. Four. And they keep quite well too. Five, six, I'm probably being a little bit over generous, but that is good. It'll all add to the crunch and to the flavour. So that's six, six dessert spoons. I'm just being asked there, which is 
60 grams if you want to weigh it out. I can't, can't be bothered to weigh it out, I just prefer to use spoons. So you mix that all together. And then I'm also going to add some chia seeds. So chia seeds are high in protein and they also swell slightly. So they really give you that feeling of fuller, feel fuller for longer, a little bit of fullness, which is really helpful. I think this is what they look like, by the way. I made a little batch earlier. I did have one, obviously, in the interest of research. Mm. I've got to try as you go, haven't you? So I think it's two teaspoons of chia seeds. Let me just check. Yeah, two teaspoons of chia seeds. So I've got my packet of chia. And I'm going to pop those on. They're kind of an optional extra. If you don't have chia seeds, don't worry too much about it. Chuck in a bit more. There we go. So pop those in, and then what you're going to do is, once this is all mixed together, super simple, I mean literally just takes a couple of minutes, you then roll them into little patty shapes, or little balls, and then you're going to bake them on some baking parchment in a kind of a medium oven, I think it's about 170 degrees from memory, something like that, what does it say? Yeah, 175 350 Fahrenheit, which is gas mark three, so it's it's kind of a nice warm oven. So I have got here, this is what I was doing earlier, so I've got my baking parchment, and I'm just going to make them, I have got nice clean hands, I promise you, I washed them, just make them into little kind of shapes like this, pop them on the it makes quite a lot. I mean, you can do half half the amount if you want, just you know, just with one banana. Pop those on there. I might just do half a dozen for now. Pop those in the oven. There we go, number three. Great for picnics. Great for pack lunches. If you're travelling, pop a couple of these in your bag. Take with you. Keep you going. It means that you don't have to buy expensive processed fast food snacks and again no added sugars but honestly they taste really good and really sweet and it's just good to have something that's satisfying and high in protein and low in sugar particularly after a workout so there we go I'll pop those on there just rinse my hands and then they're going to go into the oven for about 12 minutes or so so I'm just going to pop those on. Don't let me forget them, will you? I'm going to pop these down here. Okay, in we go. Right, set my timer. And still got lots of mixture left, but I'll make the, make the rest later. So, and that's what they turn out like. So, hmm, you might have a, hmm, a little bit. Sue, so you missed, missed the beginning. They are called recipes on the website, um, banana, peanut butter and oat cookies. It says for a post-workout snack, obviously workout is not obligatory, don't have to do the workout, but you feel much better if you do. Right, I've got some, some questions about weight training already, which is great because we've got Zana Morris joining us in just a moment. Can they be frozen? Do you know, mine have never lasted long enough to make it into the freezer, but I don't see why not, because they're oats and you can freeze bananas, so yeah, absolutely. Why not? But I think if you keep them in an airtight tin or a container, you know, you'd be fine. Um, they would certainly keep. Now, let's see if we can get Zana to join us. I'm so looking forward to this because I know she's such a popular guest. Um, there we are, Zana. I have accepted you. So hopefully you are, you are joining me. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? I am very good. How are you? Yeah, I'm well, thank you. Super well. All the better for seeing you. Where are you? Because last time I spoke to you, you were in Spain. I was. I'm, I'm back in London. Are you? Back in Great. London, yes. And are you training? You, are you training clients? Still training clients. Mm -hmm. So I was, I was looking at you. That, those cookies are literally tryptophan in a boat, in a, in a cookie, aren't they? They're just the bananas, the, the, the peanuts. Yeah. The, <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. They're just happiness in a cookie. <laughs> happiness in a cookie, I love that. Maybe we're, we're going to have to rename them. Do you know, I am such a fan of high-fat eating and high-protein eating, particularly after connecting with you. I trained with Zana for a while. This is going back several years now when you had the Who's clock that? gyms. Yes. We got to know each other really well. Zana's oh. written a brilliant book called The High-Fat Diet which is amazing. Do you want, for those of you who are new, who haven't heard you before, Zana, do you want to give us a quick kind of rundown on your background? Yes. Um, very originally, I always smile when I say this, I was a yoga instructor before I went into high intensity training. Were you? I didn't know you were a yoga teacher. Wow. Yes, that was my original. I was in my teens. I, I was studying and simultaneously teaching yoga at the same time. <laughs> wow. That was what I really kicked off with. But it was around about that time I was fascinated with nutrition. Mm. Um, and it was around about that time when I came across that high fat sort of way of eating because I was very into the polar opposite, really, so the low fat. I know direction. where we all were in the 80s. Yeah. It was all about low yeah. fat, wasn't it? And I know some of it us still have really that was. kind of legacy. Um, we need to get out of that mindset about low fat, yeah. particularly for midlife yeah. women. Really important to be eating it's good, healthy for, fats. Honestly, for all ages, because I was only in my early 20s, and the difference it made to me was night and day with how I felt, just generally. Really? Just, it completely changed me. Um, but my background was very shortly after university, I went straight into running, it, well, working in health stores and running health stores. Mm -hmm. And that's where I really got to know about the supplement side of it. Yeah. Um, and then, yes, over the last 20, 30 years, I'm not sure, the, the years are expanding. <laughs> The time just goes, doesn't it? My oh. goodness, where does it go? For the first 10 years you're very proud of. Once you're into the second decade, you're sort of like, okay, now's enough. <laughs> That's enough. No, no, no. Oh. It's all about having a better second half. Oh, most definitely. Stronger, yeah. fitter. Really? I, I did a podcast recording actually this morning with a lovely young psychotherapist. I was a guest on her podcast and she talks a lot to younger women and new mums. And I was saying, you know, because she was going, oh, perimenopause, you know, it's all going to be such a scary time for us as we age. And I said, listen, you can have a better second half. I am fitter, stronger, happier in my 50s than I was in my 40s. Yeah. And that is the message yeah. that I want to convey to everybody. Yeah. Really, really It can, can get better. Really can. Oh, gosh, it definitely. I mean, no question, just no question. Really yeah. can. Yeah. Yeah. Hundreds. People are being asked if Zana has a website. Well, I know you've got strong nutrients, which we'll talk about because there are some fascinating nutrients yes. that we can hack into. Is that the best place for people that, to follow you? That, yes, there's the strong nutrients, which has a little bit on me. Um, Zanamars.com, very simple, is, okay. is my one. Uh, but they're both sort of kind of one through to the other, really. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, so that's where you'll find me through that. So from your, through your work, I know you trained as a nutritionist as well as a, a personal trainer and ran your gyms and, you know, built up this extraordinary empire. Was it through that work as a nutritionist that you really kind of drilled down into these supplements that help with weight loss and strength it, gain? A hundred percent that. Um, and as the company I was working with at the time and you just gather the information as you go and it's and it's the experience, it's the direct experience with clients consistently, yeah. both originally when you're using it yourself. In the early days, it was working a lot with people and being surrounded actually by a lot doing a, a lot of the contests in those days. And I don't mean the big bodybuilding ones, I just mm. mean the more body sculpting ones. And if ever you're looking for where to lose fat and build muscle at the same time, so really sculpt, it's in those circles, if you like. Yeah. Um, and it's really interesting because, honestly, when it comes to high-fat diets, they were talking about it long before it ever really? became even close to mainstream. Yeah. How interesting they in terms really of sculpting the body and getting, you know, muscle definition and tone, which is what we yes. all lose as we age, which is why exactly I love that. talking to you because you give us so much good information as how we can regain it. And, you know, I'm living proof. I am not a gym bunny. I'm not a sportswoman. I've never played sports. I wish... I had that ability or desire, but I just don't. But I've really found that my body shape has changed. It's not so much about weight, but shape. But the shape, but it's and that's smaller. The you get smaller, but you get sculpted, and it's it's that sort of strong, 
it's the strength but the shape that goes with it that's yeah. fabulous yeah. and as and as you're always saying and i love this so i really i really love this it's about that strength as we get older because that is us that, that's what gets that's us what through need. days and powers us that's through right. everything before anything else before you look in the mirror is that how you feel yeah yeah that <laughs> physical mental strength yeah. I must just read you this comment, and I know our, our friends on Facebook and YouTube won't see this, but there's a comment here from Amy who says, Hello, Liz. Hello, Zana. I've been using Zana's Amino Slim Powder for the last few weeks. I'm happy to report it's made a great difference. My stomach is much flatter than before. I love it. I so, love it. I, so I take this. So I took this this morning. Where's my Amino Slim? That's my creatine. Uh, oh, here's, I my creatine this morning, yes. I did have my Absolutely. creatine in my coffee, but separately, so there's, there's, a, there's an order that you need to use these, otherwise they don't work, so it's really important to pay attention. So Amino Slim, I actually put this in water this morning, it's a powder, I used just over a teaspoon maybe of that in some water, first thing, um, before I did my workout, I just did 20 minutes, not very much, did some squats, I got a few um, weights, I've got a little kind of home gym that I made. We've converted the garage into the Lovely. home gym. So I've just got a few bits and pieces there that I use. And so I had this. So can you tell us, seeing as Amy has actually brought it up, what Amino Slim is and how it works and why it's particularly good for fat around the middle? Perfect. Um, it's an amino acid, which is part of a protein. So you're all actually already getting it when you're eating, like an egg will have it in it, a nut will have it in it naturally. Mm -hmm. But all amino acids work a little bit differently when you take them away from each other. Um, so when you take it separate. So, I mean, tryptophan is one there. They were saying they're finding in all those foods. Great for sleep um, as well, tryptophan, isn't exactly, it? Exactly, exactly. Um, so L-ornithine is one of those that seems to aid that natural hormonal production that goes on when we sleep. Um, namely natural growth hormone and insulin but long and short is while we sleep our body does do a bit of a reset insulin levels do naturally or should naturally go down right. um, and the l ornithine just simply gets in behind that process um seem, and as a result of that it is the belly fat that seems to get targeted before anything else um so that's where you really notice it which is where most most are looking for it most yeah um yeah definitely i mean middle-aged spread is a real thing sadly yeah. Here, this is where is. we tend to, particularly as women, that's particularly where the fat gets deposited. Yeah, it really is. It really is. Um, and the other, it has other benefits. It helps with okay. detoxification. Does it? Um, yeah, getting ammonia out of the system into urea, basically just breaking it down. Um, I love, I think I might have said this before, but it's one of my favorite quotes because it's so random. Um, one of the things they noticed in one of the studies that everyone has... <laughs> The participants were stating they were feeling less angry, <laughs> less feelings of anger. <laughs> really? Less angry? Isn't that great? So it kind of chills you out at the same time. It, it helps sleep. It helps sleep, which is the lovely indirect side effect because so many fat yeah. burners in inverted commas are the opposite. They're sort of caffeine or stuff. Yeah, they jitter you. You know, they it rev is, you up. You know, the guarana, the caffeine, opposite. all of that. Yeah. Um, what's that stuff that's in Red Bull? You know, it's like... Oh, all the... Honestly, I... Whoa, really so like, jittery. No, 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 I really don't want to go there. I couldn't do it. And in my 20s, I used to try different supplements out of, oh, there was, I loved so many of them, mm. but I could never try, I could never even trial the fat burning ones to see if they work, because I could never take even close to the quantity. They make you feel so <laughs> weird. I'm really? As high as a kite. <laughs> yeah, wired. Not good. Yeah. I mean, we're wired with life anyway, frankly, with all the kind yeah. of environmental stresses. Do it. At best, I could take one sixth of the dose, like maybe one thing before a training session yeah. to pull myself an energy boost, but I couldn't even get close to what they were recommending. Yeah. Um, and that's the beauty of the, the l -ornithine. It's natural. It works with the body's processes. It's more right. balancing the body, and the body's doing it um, rather than stimulating it. Um, so you don't get the high and the low. No. So and tell us how sleep. you need to take it, because you've described yeah. this to me before as quite a fussy supplement you can't just take it you have to be very particular if you want yes. it to work and it does work but you have to take it in a very specific way don't exactly, you exactly exactly um yeah for this to work it is as i'm always saying a fussy supplement it doesn't like company too much okay um, it's a loner <laughs> <laughs> so 
<laughs> we put it to loner. And you take it be either before bed or before your training session. Yeah. About half an hour, but before bed it really means before sleep. So you could take it as you're falling into into bed as well. Okay. Um, or roughly about 20, 30 minutes before your training session. Um, you have to stop eating for two and a half hours beforehand. You can have water or herbal teas, but nothing with food value. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. So that's important. So that's why I take it in the morning. Yes. Before training. Oh, there's my alarm. One oh, second. Go, go, go otherwise, rest, otherwise yeah. these, these will burn and that will be no good. Uh, oh, lovely. Nice. If I left them in for longer, I might get them slightly brown, but these have set and cooked, so I'm just going to let them cool. Oh, nice. Have one later. You're killing me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I take mine, as I say, in the morning before doing a bit of a workout. And the reason I do that is, I know I shouldn't, but I do tend to eat quite late. Yeah. And I'll often have that kind of last little sip of, a, you know, a bit of wine or... I don't know, nibble of a piece of cheese or something, and I haven't got that two and a half hour window yeah. of an empty stomach uh, before I go to bed. So therefore, I mean, if on the rare occasion I eat really early, then I might think about taking it last thing at night because yeah. the great thing about that is you, you don't need to do a workout then. You just literally, it works while you sleep, doesn't it? Exactly. Exactly, which is the fun bit. It literally is. <laughs> it's burning your fat while you sleep. I mean, hurrah! <laughs> you get better than that. <laughs> exactly. What an amazing friend to have. I mean, exactly. seriously. And can you take it every day? There's no. Is there any issue with it? Are there any side effects? Any contraindications? You really we need? can take it every day. Really. Um, most will use it to get into shape. So probably about three, four month kind of cycles, mm -hmm. but there is no harm to taking it as a health supplement in the long term. Right. And in terms of quantity of it, and I say this cautiously, it's okay. common sense applied to what about some eggs. We recommend um, in the capsules, five capsules with the powder at half a teaspoon. And as so many people noticed, and apologies for this, but it was quite funny at the time for me, not for you guys, apologies. On our powder, we had the old instructions, which said one to two teaspoons, which is the equivalent of 10 to 20 capsules. Do you know, I was looking at that. Because yes. mine says here one to two teaspoons. This yes, is something. This is one. The original one to two teaspoons. Now there is nothing wrong with one to two teaspoons, which is the bit I want to emphasize. Absolutely nothing wrong. But you don't um, need that much. You don't need that much, um, and that's what when we were in the gyms and we had clients in the gyms and we really wanted to kind of go right. We're really, really going for it. Yeah. We get them to go one to two teaspoons. Really. We wouldn't necessarily do it for a long time, but they might do it for a few weeks. Come, right. We're just going to get this. We're going to. We're going to go for. It. Yeah. Um, so you actually you can take the one you can take a bit more. You don't necessarily mm. need that amount to get the result. Half a teaspoon is actually enough. So this is going to last me ages. Yes, it will last you a while. It will last yeah. you a while. Um, but as I said, half a teaspoon up to a teaspoon works beautifully. Or five capsules. I mean, to be honest, I'm not. Yeah. I don't really like swallowing lots of capsules. I've got lots of capsules. I'm taking all sorts of other things as well. Yeah. So to have something that just dissolves in water doesn't taste amazing, if I'm honest. It has a slight aftertaste. I have to be honest, I take the capsules. Just Do you, for I that reason? Them. I don't love the taste. For that reason, I will go through phases of the powder, but then sometimes mm. I just sort of think, okay, capsules just feel easier. So yeah. it depends exactly that. And I'm just seeing a question about the ingenious collagen, and I am going to answer that if you don't mind. Just yeah, sure. No, no, do. Um, unfortunately, you cannot take it at the same time. Right. And that comes up very regularly, and it's simply because you can't take with anything of food value. So you can take with magnesium, um, or even if people are taking chill pill or things like that, which would be fine, you can take it with that. But the collagen is, again, another amino acid, another part of a protein. And not amino, it's, it's a combination, but yeah. it's, it's part of a protein. So it acts like food when they go together. So it will stop the amino slim working. Right. So Lovely co quote here. Time. So this is the Menopause Health Coach on Instagram who says, I love, in capital letters, Amino Slim. It works! Exclamation mark. I am the same. My stomach is flatter and I am religious about it. I mean, that is love just, it. that is just great. Um, Anna says, or Anne, sorry. Hi both. I've been following your high fat diet religiously for a week now. Green and white vegetables. 
plus amino slim at night truly brilliant um, really really good uh, lots and lots of great comments here it's so nice to uh, here we go and says weight bearing exercises I feel tons better flatter tum um, oh yeah that was the question there about ingenious collagen so need to take them separately okay yes. so what I do so my morning routine for what it's worth is I take NMN yeah. which is the powder which I get from Youth and Earth which gives me that energy lift so I have that first thing and I know we've spoken about that before that's not going to interact because it doesn't have any food value exactly so then I have my amino slim then I'm up and you know even if I'm just in my bedroom just doing some squats doing a few push-ups you just need something don't you to get oh, I mean how you much know. exercise do you need to activate the amino Honestly. slim my, our, our favorite little routine for our, our little holiday routine if you like if you had a little holiday pack yeah uh, with clients was a minute of squats or a minute of press-ups was enough that was our little minute one, one minute kid. 60 one seconds minute okay guys <laughs> we've all got 60 seconds exactly to do you know what is essentially what 60 70 squats well, it's as many as you can do in 60 seconds. So it depends on your fitness levels. Okay. And your strength. So literally so, just, just kind of this. That, and if you can get, the goal was to do the full squats where you really get as low as you can. Okay. Properly seated and push right up. Okay. And now I've great. heard, because I, I did a podcast not long ago with uh, Michael Mosley, Dr. Mosley, and he was saying that he gets up and does squats first thing before the day crowds in to get the exercise done. And he obviously is doing the fast 800 diet and all of that. Yeah. But he was saying that the research shows that you go down slower and then you explode up. Is that, is that right? That would make sense because the weight is going to be on your, on you, on your legs. Oh, on, on, your, on your glutes so here and, and, and your exactly. quads. Exactly, they have to yeah. fire up to hold you going down. Okay. And then fire up exactly as you push your weight back okay, up. Okay, so, so if you try way. that, so just go a yeah. little bit slower down and then a little bit faster. And go as low it's, as, you know, you can, as low as your as knees as you will can. allow. And it's, it's a little bit like what he's saying, interestingly enough. That's the whole concept of weight training is, is when you return, you kind of control it, and then you go explosive on the way up, and when you return, you control it. So that's the same with even weight training. You control the, the bit where you're sort of, where you could fall into it, so to speak. You control that yeah. bit. And then I love that. I love the fact that, you know, you can take this, you can either take it when you sleep and not have to worry about, you know, doing any exercise, but actually, come on guys, we do need to get up and do a bit of something. But to do a minute of squats, <laughs> it's going to activate it. I mean, there, <laughs> literally, there is no excuse. There is not. Even you, if you've you got, what, what about people with, with dodgy knees? I mean, would you just do just, a, a gentle go, squat? Do gentle, or just do press-ups, and you can do press-ups press with your knees on the floor. A compound exercise, so like tricep dips would even do it. Something that gets your heart rate up. So okay. you, you just need to be like, oh God, I can't do any more type of sense by the time So more done. than just going out for a walk then, more than taking the dog out? More than that. So if you're someone okay. that goes for a walk, just sprint up the street. Okay. <laughs> Just, right. just sprint. Imagine this. Imagine just a this quick burst of something. <laughs> so Michelle is saying here, I'm having Zana's protein powder right now in my green smoothie. Good for you, Michelle. Nice. I've got these. So this. So my boys love protein shakes. I often make a, a green shake with a bit of chlorella. I chuck in a bit of kefir because I'm just kind of sneaky like that. I want to get stuff into there diet in an easy way particularly like before school I try and load in loads of stuff into a shake before right. school right. so talk to us about this because your protein powder is different isn't it from others it's really well thought out I think I yeah I, and again it's it's from being in the industry for years and it's I as I, keep, as I often explain to clients I don't recommend it because we sell it I, I, I sell it because I recommend it um, it was like it looking for the, the protein and I have tried so many of them over the years and with clients and, and looked at them mm -hmm. and I have to say it is I'm straight up it's it's a vegetarian protein it's not a vegan one it is casein it's what we get in our cheese and in our yogurt yeah but particularly when I was spending more time and I suppose the in gyms and the gym industry my 20s my early 30s mm -hmm. everybody was going for whey and whey, yeah. Whey, all all whey the protein whey. powders I see seem to be based on whey. On whey. And they, for, for me, whey is just, it's, you know, it's not going to do any harm to take it. 
Okay. It's just kind of value for money. <laughs> it's the return on the investment. I like to get more return. Yeah, we all do. Investment. Come on. These things exactly. aren't cheap, so you want to get stuff that works. Exactly. Yeah? So when they make, you know, the curds in the way, and I love that concept, when they make the cheese and the curds in your way, the way used to go to be the livestock, it was the waste product. And then it was all the lovely sort of bodybuilders and young lads that they realized they had an audience with. And right. it began to become massive sale as a protein powder. And it is a protein powder. I mean, it yeah. does work for extra protein. The casing, though, the real, real gold dust went with the cheese and the yogurt. <laughs> Right. Um, so as a result, casing does tend to be a little bit more expensive than whey. Yeah. But the difference, really? honestly, for the years of using it with clients, I know if I give them casing and I'm watching the muscle mass, we used to have calipers in the body fat. I remember. I mean, Zana, honestly, I used to go and see Zana and the calipers would come out and it would be, you know, all these measurements and you would forensically tap it into your computer and you would really, you can really analyze, which is what I love about your research. You've worked with so many clients you've, uh, for so many years. You know, if you do this in this way, in this quantity, with this ingredient, you get the results. Yeah. And you have to, because otherwise your clients, they wouldn't come oh, and see you and they wouldn't exactly. recommend you. My you know? job is, it's exactly, my job is to get results. It's not just, to, it's to actually make sure the results are happening. Yeah. And honestly, two, two weeks adding that in would be enough to see a difference. I mean, even less, but let's say for the sake of two weeks. What sort of results could you expect in. to see to then? Know, well, to notice a difference in muscle tone and in muscle, muscle mass. And if you're doing the measurements, you'd see muscle increasing. It's, it's right. just makes such a difference. So how much do you need then if you're having a, a shake or a smoothie with this? It, about three quarters up to a scoop, I think, is plenty. Okay. Um, daily. The daily, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, about a, about a, up to a scoop. Yeah. And which is why, which is why it's quite a big, big pot. Yes. It smells it's lovely. About, it smells vanilla. Exactly. Around about that. Yeah. And you mix it on. I mean, actually, if I'm being honest, my favourite is to mix it with almond milk. That's just I just really almond like milk. that. It's really okay. sugar, it's unsweet, and the likes. That said, it works extraordinarily well with good old-fashioned milk. Good. Because the protein that's what I use. combine, and it's it's even better. If I'm being honest, from a muscle yeah. side of it, it's even better on just Great. Your, your standard milk. But you can mix it in anything. You can put it into yogurts. It works really well. And one of my favorite nice. things to do is if I ever, if, <laughs> I love porridge. I don't have it that often, but I love porridge. Yeah. And my way of just making it last longer in terms of feeling fuller for longer is put about two teaspoons of that in through it. In the and porridge. Just, wow. To make yeah. your porridge and more protein enriched. I'd never thought exactly. of that. What a great idea. Yeah. And it really sustains you. That really keeps you going. You, yeah, you I'm sure. That really would. Just to say, sorry, I forgot to say, I got so excited with everything that we're talking about. We do have a Liz Loves discount. Thank you very much. So on a 12% oh, yes. Liz Loves. Is yes. it just Liz Loves or is there anything else on the it's end Liz, of it? I think it's just Liz Loves. Yeah. I fine. should know that. I think it's just Liz Loves. <laughs> and that's on everything. And that's on your Strong Nutrients website. Yes. Yes, exactly. Fantastic. Well, one last thing to say about casein is, and this is the big yeah, thing Liz loves. for me. Mm -hmm. um, and th for, for me, actually, this is probably the biggest thing. You stay fuller for longer. Right. Um, you really stay fuller because it's slow. The body, it's, it's a slow-release protein. It breaks down slowly. In the exact same way you've slow-release carbohydrates, you've slow-release proteins as well. And it breaks mm -hmm. it down slowly. You stay fuller for much longer. But, you know, um, I am, which, I'm so inspired. Every time I talk to you, I wish I could have you kind of on speed dial every couple of weeks because it just refocuses... And I think yes. now, you know, it's a beautiful sunny day. I'm down here in the West Country. And I was driving back after doing the school run and, you know, the birds were singing and I saw bluebells in the hedgerows and, you know, the sun was shining and I was just, I was still in my gym kit. And, you know, all seemed well with the world, which was nice feeling, although I know it isn't, but it's nice to get those happy, positive yeah. vibes. And it just reminded me that actually we're coming into summer, we're going to be socialising more, we may be going off on holiday, we might be heading off to the beach or whatever. You know, this is a real time. Hey, you got a, you got a canine friend. Uh, no, no worries, we love, our, we love our canine friends. You know, this is really the time, if you're coming out of Easter, and you know, maybe too many Easter eggs or whatever, and just thinking, do you know what, now is the time when I'm really going to get to grips. I'm going to want to feel fitter, stronger, to be yeah. more toned, 
you know, to feel happier in my skin for all sorts of reasons, all the things that we talk about at Lizard Wellbeing, you know, mental health, physical health. It just makes such a difference. You know, the strength. I had to move some really heavy things at the weekend. I was moving big terracotta pots around in the garden and planting up dahlias and doing all that sort of stuff. And, you know, and I could do it because the strength yeah. was there. And I don't think that a few years ago I would have had that level of strength. It is that. It's the strength for living, for, for being able to do what you need to do and when you need to do it and yeah. having, having more after it. So, you know, that the next day you're feeling yeah. fine and can keep going. It's, yeah, it's, you haven't just, you know, kind of cricked your back or your muscle aches. Exactly. And, and so much of what we call aging just isn't. It, it's, yeah, as in, it, it doesn't need to happen. It's not really aging. We're just no. not using our bodies or working with our bodies as we should. And it's such an easy fix. And we need to get cleverer, don't we? Because as we yeah. age, we do lose muscle mass. We do lose yes. bone density. Yes. You know, we do have to put a bit more time and money potentially behind those yeah. things that we just took for granted before. It's so true. And if we yeah. use these hacks in the right way, which is why it's fantastic that we can have yes. access to someone like you, to really drill into what's going to work, because we don't have time to faff about with things that don't work. You yeah. know, that is my exactly. big bugbear. People promoting stuff yeah. that doesn't actually work because what a waste of time yeah. and energy that is oh for everybody and it, i mean just for everybody everybody can demoralizing so it's just i don't know it's, there's no yeah. point yeah. um no point yeah none, none whatsoever i think i'm an aries i'm somewhat impatient i kind of like things i'm going to do it i want to see a result kind of like mm. yesterday rather than tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> now barbie Noy is just saying here i've just started ingenious collagen at night with my magnesium and utrogestan. That's similar to me, Bobby. Absolutely, that's what I have at night. Um, would adding in amino slim be too much? Well, you couldn't take them together, Bobby. You couldn't take them together. So you'd either have to be taking those much earlier in the evening, so you could take those two and a half hours before last thing at night, having your amino slim, so that your, your tummy's empty, or do what I do, I have it first thing in the morning on an empty stomach and then do your 60 seconds of squats. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That might be the safer. Yeah. Do you know, I should almost really be recommending that because it just makes you think, okay, I've had my amino slim, so to activate it, I do need to do a little bit of exercise, high intensity, yes. even if it's just 60 seconds. So at least yeah. it is getting that in there as well because that is so important, isn't it, for aging? Oh, it makes all the difference in the world. I mean, we have this lovely hormonal balance until we're about 25, and then it all begins to shift in the slightly opposite direction. As we say, we're, we're anabolic up until 25. It's a word that got a bad press with the whole steroid concept, but it just means you're building. Yeah. You're, you're getting stronger. Yeah. And from 25 onwards, organically, we become a bit more catabolic. We're beginning to fall, fall apart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there's mm -hmm. so many things you can do to not let that happen, to flip it back into being anabolic. And the L the yeah. amino slip is one of those things, believe it or not. It does actually also help the muscle recovery nice. um, because of that hormonal balance. It's, yeah. it's helping that balance back. Um, so being asked here if you can take other vitamins or HRT tablets at the same time at night, the answer is no, unless it's something well, really simple like magnesium yes, you could take. Exactly that. The nothing you're foodie. For, nothing that has an amino acid in it, because that is a kind of a food-based kind of protein. So no collagen. So with your, exactly. And Got with it. your sort of L hyphen, whatever, just keep an eye on a lot of those, not always, but a lot of them. So L-theanine, because that's something I also take at night. I take ashwagandha with L-theanine. Because yes, that really so that helps me sleep, it. so no, I wouldn't. But you know, I, I don't take my amino slim at night anyway. Exactly. I take it in the morning. Exactly. And anything with the sugar in it. So if it's a very complex range, I probably would avoid it just for simplicity. But if it's a really simple, single mineral, single vitamin, you should be fine. Yeah. And the same, you know, I'm not being asked here. Trisha saying with slumber drops, no, because that's got. I forget what that's got in it, but I'm sure it's got some uh, sweetener has, or something. It has something in it that I looked before. Yeah, yeah, um, we've, we've looked it up. It so, that, but yeah. you know, so if, if, if in doubt, don't, don't do it. I take at night magnesium chill pill and, and the amino slim. And um, the progesterone. A lot of people I know take progesterone at night. And the, that's, that's fine. That that's, would be okay. So you could take your utrogestan. Yeah. You can. That's good and to know. So you could, if you wanted, if you want to take it at night, you could have your magnesium, which helps with sleep. 
yeah. you could have your progesterone, which you know may be part of your HRT, um, and you could have your amino slim, and that would be exactly. fine, but not your collagen because of the amino acids in that. Exactly. It's really exactly. important to get that right, because otherwise you're spending all this money and you're not going to get the results. So you just yeah. need to be... Now, I know that you are really up for things like you know messaging on Instagram. You can People yes. can email you. All of that. Yes, please do um, get back to you on any any questions um, at Strong Nutrients at Zan underscore Morris, um, and literally you can email direct as well. Okay, so Carly here, or sorry, Kerry on Facebook is saying, if you take Amino Slim in the morning and do your exercise, how long do you have to wait before you eat? Very good question. Very, very good question. <laughs> now, generally with training. The optimal with training, regardless of the amino slim, um, the optimal they say is about two hours if it's kind of a high intensity training. Oh, session. really? So whatever whatever regime you're following, if you're doing some high intensity exercise, you should wait two hours before eating. That's the perf that's perfection. That's why? Why, why is that? And um, you get this natural growth hormone release that peaks after two hours, and if you eat, you could stop it, and so you lose that benefit. Oh, you want to keep that and, growth hormone release and going. And that's the L-ornithine ah. that's getting behind that, so that's helping that peak as well. So that's why that, that works together with it. So perfection will be two hours. Don't worry if it's only an hour, but try and give it an hour. At least an I hour. Think. Yeah, yeah. Try, and most people, by the time you change and get yourself sorted, yeah. an hour is very Yeah, yeah, it, it's gone by. I mean, what I try and do is I try and have two meals a day. So yeah. I might have a bit of black coffee, which I know you yeah. can have with um, Amino Slim. There's no issue with that. And then I'm not really eating till 11, 11.30 when I go for my kind of high-fat brunch. Yeah, and that way. will see me right the way through. And seriously, it's been revelatory. I don't get cravings. I don't reach for cake and biscuits and all of that like I used to if I was eating carbs in the morning. Yeah. And then I'll have uh, have supper and and just those two meals. I think perfection. I think it's all most of us need. And I don't, and I don't count it. calories. I don't look at particularly yeah. what I'm eating. I mean, I do tend to do a lot of cooking, so I'm making most stuff from scratch. But, you know, now I'm going out, especially, you know, more was out for supper last night. I um, took my uh, youngest out uh, with his dad and, we, you know, we went out for a pizza, you know, and had pizza and half a bottle of wine. And, you know, it was great. And I didn't really worry about it. I wasn't kind of agonizing over it, thinking, oh, dear, this is all so terrible. Because actually I was thinking, well, that's fine. I'm going to get up. I'm going to have my amino slim. I'm going to go and do my, my a bit of gym and, and I'll eat later. And that will be fine. And it's that balance. It's not having to worry about, you know, calories and it's just exactly. it's cutting down on the sugars. Can you explain that for people that haven't been familiar with your work before on, on eating high fat, how you can actually eat higher fat and still lose weight? Uh, favorite. As in, honestly, this is the, the problem with calories is that it, it's, it's not about the calories. It's and even metabolism. One of my favorite... <laughs> I say favorite in inverted commas. Um, co the, the favorite concept that's out there is the metabolism is all about weight loss. Metabolism mm. is actually more about energy than weight loss. It's you metabolizing food for energy. Right. Um, and it's, it's, it's what you're metabolizing, whether it's sugars or fats. Um, and this is where the whole calorie game gets very confused. Um, beauty of fat, particularly when you can switch the body into fat burning, so not just talk about adding fat on top of sugars, but when your body flips into burning fat as a fuel, it switches into burning your own body fat really readily, mm. um, which means that you can be eating all these calories, your body will happily burn it, you'll have more energy from those calories, yeah. <laughs> that's where the calories are going, they're giving you the energy, um, and then as it's using up, and as slowly used up what you've eaten, it'll just happily flip into burning your own fat stores and keep burning through that. Um, when you're burning sugar as a fuel, there's less energy because there's actually less calories. The body's more likely to spike insulin, which means it's more likely to put it on as belly fat, even though you've eaten less calories. Um, and mm. the big thing, when your body runs out of fuel, it goes to look for more sugar, so you will crave, and in the meantime, if yeah. you haven't fed it, it'll eat your muscle. <laughs> Effectively. Make you crave <laughs> sugars and eat your muscle. This, I mean, it's oh my goodness. Into your muscle, because your muscle will break down into sugars for you. Okay, there's a little bit of a longer process, but that's the fast forward version. <laughs>
Do you know, I, I used to get sugar cravings and I just don't now because I don't really eat sugars. I mean, obviously there are yeah. natural sugars in veg and fruit and I tend not to drink juice, but if I'm having fruit, yeah. I'll have a whole fruit, I'll have a whole apple. I won't drink apple juice, yeah. which is so concentrated. So I'm not, I don't think I'm particularly strict. If somebody offers me a piece of cake, then I'll have it. But you know, I'm not particularly bothered and I which certainly I don't I crave love. it. And I love that about how you explain it in your approach. It's not about being deadly strict across the board mm. all the time. Mm. I'm not in keto, like, you know, I've done that and exactly. I think it's amazing. But the way my life works, it, it doesn't really work for me at the moment, keto. I might I might switch it on for a month or so maybe. We'll see. Yeah. You know, as an experiment. And I think a lot of people do well knows. on it. Your body clearly knows how to flip into the fat burning. Um, and that's why you can do those lovely long gaps. Yeah. It's it's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Magnesium. Uh, there's a comment here about the magnesium rocks. Because I, I take yours. I take yours at night. Magnesium rocks. And it says that it supports natural energy levels and reduction of tiredness. So she's saying it presumably can only be taken in the morning. But I take mine at night. Is that okay? Um, oh, magnesium is a, a cool supplement. Oh, my gosh. You could write... I mean, I'm, and I'm sure there are books Whole on books it. on magnesium, yeah. <laughs> you could write another book on it. Um, I was, it's, 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 it, magnesium helps. Weirdly, it works very well, just actually looping it back to another stuff of creatine. Now, this is the next creatine, so yeah. So later in the day, if I have my cup of coffee with a little bit of milk, I will put creatine in my coffee. The, the interesting thing about both creatine and magnesium is both of them are actually involved in ATP which is our little energy molecules, energy. if you like. The magnesium is also involved with that. But it doesn't, it's not necessarily an instant energy hit you get. Magnesium, oh, there's, a, there's over 300 processes magnesium's involved with. Wow. Um, and it's not a herb where you get this, like, caffeinated buzz from it. Um, it's more involved in all the cellular processes, and one of those is part of that ATP cycle as well. So that's where it helps with that energy release. And, and the rest, I mean, it's got so much, it's involved with estrogen breakdown, it's involved with our binding with that GABA, which helps us sleep and all the rest, it's involved right. with so many. Um, and the, one of the biggest functions is nerve and muscle function, and it does help as a result, directly or indirectly, with sleep processes as well. Um, I definitely I feel I sleep better if I take magnesium at night. Well, they, it, it apparently binds with a neurotransmitter called GABA. Um, and I, I love, I love the description of it. I saw it somewhere. They call it the anti-anxiety neurotransmitter, which I thought was a great name. Anti-anxiety, that's, <laughs> that's what what we need. But magnesium yeah. just seems to help with that, the, the nerve processes, if you like, mm -hmm. and helps you sleep. Um, I think it's best. It's a natural anti-inflammatory. I think it's, I think it's best at night, but you can take it any time of the day. Any time. It, yeah. it won't make you sleep in the middle of the day and it won't buzz you with energy at night. It'll actually help sleep if you take it at night. Yeah. And overall, your body's processes will be better. It's so, kind of yeah. like the, the, the body's rhythm. It's like getting up in the morning and looking towards the sun as, as close to sort of daybreak as you can is shown now to help the circadian rhythm so we sleep better that night. Yes. It's something to do with the melatonin production. So even though you're doing it first thing in the morning, it works through the body to give you a better it's, night's sleep, which is a bit bizarre. Yeah. I remember talking to Kevin Levers, the Naked Pharmacy founder, and he's got this lovely supplement on, from Saffron called Saffrosun, again, very good for anxiety. And he was saying it helps with sleep, but it's best taken in the morning. So a lot of people think, oh, it's good for sleep, I'll take it at bedtime. But actually studies show you take it in the morning, morning. and it kind of gets into your rhythms, the natural rhythms of the body, I which is a bit bit weird but that's the how it works. nutrients and i think that's the important thing as opposed to and it's not an, it's it's not knocking herbs they've got a different position but the beauty of nutrients and minerals and vitamins is so much is about getting your body's natural processes and circadian rhythms back yeah. so it's it, it's not necessary whereas um we we recommend i recommend chill will be fine for healthy body relax but it doesn't mean if you take it in the morning you're suddenly kind of just, no, just crash out. it's an it overall mean, approach. Your whole body will be working better. Um, creatine, traditionally, everyone took before training, but actually, you don't have to take it before training because it's your body's cell stores that will, you know, mm. it has to get converted, and then the cells will store it, and then it'll use it, and then that ATP is all ready for when you go to train. So, so it builds up, actually. 
so that's good to know. Um, I put a teaspoon of creatine in my cup of tea or coffee during the day. What is this doing for me? Oh, I love creatine. Do you know what I love about creatine is? It just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> I keep doing more and more research. Really? <laughs> so I just love it. So in the very early days, going back 20 or 30 years, if you mentioned creatine, everyone ran underneath the table because they thought it was a bodybuilding steroid that kids took and it was dangerous and I'm, I'm starting with that because oh my god if you look to the research now they're almost hailing it as the fountain of life <laughs> it's kind of going the opposite direction um it is it's, it's one of the creatine monohydrate which is what that is it converts to a thing called creatine phosphate which is an essential component of our natural or basically atp uh, and, and basically the adenosine triphosphate that little compound it's the, okay. They call it the energy currency of the body. It's basically tiny little high energy molecules, as ATP. Okay. And our cells use it, our nerves use it, and our brains use it. So it is essential, really, yeah. to get that energy up. If you have high ATP, you have much more fuel and power available to you when you train, which is what we always recommended it for. But now more and more research is going into looking at it on memory and mm. <laughs> intelligence tests and the like. It seems to have an impact on the brain in the same way, which is And really do we lose it then <laughs> as we age? Is it something that we're lacking? It's, it's something Or do you need it at get, every age? We, we need it at every age. Mm -hmm. um, we get it naturally most of all in fish and meat. So vegetarians and vegans mm. tend to be lower in it. Right. Um, it has an effect and th th it gets slightly more beneficial, I think, as we age. And I say that carefully because I think it's beneficial at every age. Mm -hmm. um, in that amongst the things that it helps with, it does help with um, lowering what they call myostatin levels. It's a protein which, if it's high in the body, can help. It can stop us building muscle, just to be clear. And it helps lower that so the body can build muscle. Right. Um, and then indirectly, the main reason, you know, we've always recommended it for in the gyms is very much for the recovery from training. You can train with more intensity, you get more stamina, you can train mm. harder. And as a result of that, you build muscle much faster. Um, so it kind of has, and it helps with post training soreness. It works alongside magnesium, great for that. It has right. a number of benefits. So I think we need it more as we get older. Yeah. Because quite frankly, we need all the help we can get to get that muscle built. <laughs> we so do. I mean, funnily enough, I got out of the habit of using creatine when I was traveling. And now back home, I'm, I am using it uh, all the time, every day, I make a point of it. And I was in my little garage gym um, this morning and I was doing some skips, my skipping rope to start off with. And I actually did a hundred more skips than I would normally do. Wow. You know, which is quite wow. significant. And I, I was kind of counting them as I was going along. And I got to like 50 and I thought, oh, should I stop now? And I thought, actually, I don't feel I need to stop. So I'll just carry on. I thought, can I do another hundred? And I did. And I was just really pleased with myself because it's, and that's what I love about counting. Because you can, you know, you really yes. see how, you how you're can, doing, can measure yeah. it. And to be honest with you, I feel absolutely fine. I don't feel exhausted. So could it be then the fact that I've started oh, back on my creatine that's helping? 100%. That's exactly really? the sensation of it. After a few days, on it, not even a few days, you can almost, in some cases, feel it immediately. But certainly after two wow. or three days on it. You, the, way I, the only way I can describe it is exactly what you said there. You're training and you kind of go, I can keep going. I can do a bit and, more. And it, Exactly. And it's, again, mm. it's that natural feeling wow. of it. It's, and it, it's why, again, I love all this, these kind of supplements. It feels so normal. Yeah. You're not getting this weird high or this no, weird No, no, I didn't it's, feel... It's just, it's I wasn't normal. buzzy in any way. Yeah. I just it's, felt that actually I was... Going. I felt more capable. Exactly. And that's it. It's exactly that. Mm. Um, it's exactly that. And it's that ATP, mm. all those little energy molecules that you've wow. got. Wow. I'm glad you know about all that chemical stuff because I'm hopeless with all of that. Just a question here. Um, Julie's saying she's got a bad back and knees. How about doing press ups against a wall? Would that be helpful? Perfect. I would start um, against a wall if you want to make it a little bit more tense against a, a counter so you're mm. in a slight angle. So, so I've got, got my countertop here, weight. for example, exactly. in my kitchen. Yeah. So just that. Exactly. And mm -hmm. that then just gives you the angle yeah. and a bit Got more. You. Got and you. that would work. And the great thing about a countertop is it's not going to move. 
yes, I, I had to say cemented that. to the floor. You don't want to do it against a table or something that might shift. I was about to say something like a table, and I, I should have. No, 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 we don't want to do a table. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there's lots that that we can do actually if we've got. Oh, you know, I can see that people have got issues. You know, with knees and all of this. Um, so yeah, do I have? So Ali's saying, do I have supplements after NMN and Amino Slim? Yes. So my, my routine, first thing in the morning, NMN and my Amino Slim, do a bit of an exercise, then, you know, shower, whatever, get on with the day, and then I will have my brunch at around 11, 11.30, and that's when I tend to take my supplements. So particularly can the fat-soluble ones that like a bit of fat, like my vitamin D. Can I just answer one here from Lorraine? Because I think it's a great question. I mean, a yeah. person who may kind of have the, the an answer is but Lorraine you're asked can you build muscle once you've lost it the mm. beauty of the body is 150% yes as long as you're mm. alive <laughs> you can build muscle <laughs> really that's so encouraging to hear that uh, at any age and it may take a little bit more so for example like I said there with those myosin levels if that's slowing down the muscle gain the creatine is helping reduce that so you can get it back you know mm. regain it faster it's all about nutrition and the style of training, but at yeah. any any age, absolutely, and any background. And Talking about is. any age, Nicola is asking here, is Amino Slim and protein powder safe for 15-year-old girls? Uh, protein powder, definitely. Um, Amino Slim, yes, just, just before I say no to that one, but protein powder, definitely, definitely. A five-year-old could take protein powder. It's just casein. It's yeah. exactly the same protein as you get in Just like cheese or yogurt. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. um, slim, yes. I am always cautious at that age. The only time I personally would recommend it to somebody at 15 is if they are very overweight because it really shows hormones are a bit out of kilter. Yeah. Um, so there may yeah, be other issues going on that you'd need to check out. Yes. So yeah. I'm, I'm always I cautious wise. at that age. Yeah. I think... I, my preference is to wait till a little bit older um, yeah. and look at maybe other things at that point in time because hormones are mm. also changing and everything's kind of changing. And yeah. I've seen 15 year old girls, honestly, by the time they're two years older, are completely different just yeah. organically. Yeah. Um, so, a little bit of a slim. It would be safe. Just it would to be say, safe. But I just think there's so many other things going on. I think, yeah, I think worth, worth having a convo with your, your GP as well. Yeah. Um, Lisa's um, saying, I bought some small weights. Where do I start with them? I already do a minute of squats. Shall I just hold these and do the same squats? I mean, yes. I do weighted squats, so I hold my weights as I do my squats. Yeah, to put extra I would. Weight on. A great way to start. Hold them, pop them on shoulders, whichever, definitely. And mm -hmm. once you've started getting the weights, you can get more smaller muscle groups is that you can start working as in you can start working shoulders with shoulder presses um lateral raises and again i like the michael most of saying doing them slowly on the way up and then and, mm. and in, fast, excuse me fast on the way up slow on the way down so you start using the resistance on the way down the weight resisting against the weight when you're doing them mm. um yeah you can, and definitely weighted squats absolutely okay Lots, yeah, lots of uh, really great. Uh, Mary, the protein powder is called, it's just called unsweetened vanilla protein. It's, it's a casein. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, have a look at Strong Nutrients at um, Zana's website. And also, um, Zana is, as she mentioned, very good on email or messaging for specific, for specific yeah. questions. Uh, Chairs is saying, if I take Amino Slim in the morning, will it break my fast? I don't think so, because no. that's what I do. It's almost the opposite. Um, that Great. whole process that goes on, the Amino Slim is enhancing it, so it's almost the opposite. <laughs> great. Great, great, great. A uh, lot of questions. Yeah, how long can you eat? So we know about that. Uh, thyroxin, yeah, there's no reason why any medication should interfere, should it? Because it's just a food source. No, there's no reason for it. The only things to watch for is with the Amino Slim, if things are sugar coated, not all, not usually, but if they are, that might, the sugar coating might. And I'm a strong believer with some medications, just talk to your GP or of endocrinologist, course. whoever you're talking to. Just yeah. they know what you're taking too, because it kind of. Yeah, yeah, it's helpful. Panic. Yeah, it's helpful. Oh, Min here says, Zana is my favourite guest. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, so we've, uh, we've answered that. 
Okay, so Willow, I think you've, uh, you maybe missed a little bit. She said, why do you need to work out after taking Amino Slim in the morning? Okay, so, but not at night. So I think, uh, am I right? So let me see if I've, if I've got this correctly. At night, you can take it on empty stomach and no exercise because at night the body is releasing growth hormone and that interacts with it. So you get that fat burning. In the morning, when you get up, your body's not producing growth hormone, so you need to make it produce some and you exactly. do that with high exercise. And, and to be honest, it'll be producing a little bit in the morning, but the, high, the, the training is what kind of kicks it. Gives it that extra. Yeah. Okay, yeah. great. Really, really clear. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, lots of, lots of good questions. Ali, are the cookies out? Yes. Yes, you must have missed them. <laughs> I didn't burn them this time. They are here. And I'm going to be making some more. Zana, it's such a joy to talk to you. Um, we need to do a podcast soon, don't we, so that we can recap on all of this and more. Yes, yes, that would be wonderful, yes. And, and now that I'm back in real life, um, I want to see you in real life. Oh, that we must get nice. together. Are you going to be around for a bit? About a week and a half. <laughs> oh, then what? What? <laughs> Mind you, I'm, I'm off too. I've got various trips coming up, which is great. Things that are kind of backlogged, that are, you know, places I was supposed to go last year and the year before and didn't get to, oh. to go and interview people and, and find out about more well-being stuff. So I'm going to be out on the road a bit too. Where are you off to? I'm off to the south of France next. Oh, get you, for I'm, work or I'm for play? <laughs> It's, it's, it's taking work with me while I play. <laughs> nice. I know that one. Life, life is short. We've got to live it. <laughs> Do you know that is never more true, is it, than today? I think a lot of us have realised that, actually. Life is yeah. for living. And we yeah. need to be so grateful for what we have. Oh, um, totally. Absolutely. Okay, well, when you're back, when you're back, we'll put a date in the diary. Actually, before we Please. go, I like your new packaging, the red... I'm glad you said that, and thank you, thank you for saying you like it. Um, I like it very much. I'm glad you brought it up. But, but very smart. Just talk to me a little bit. I don't know very much about krill. I know this is one of yours, one of your special ones. I like krill. Very Why do you crazy. like krill? I, I like krill. Well, it, it, like, the absorption of the EPA, DHA seems to be slightly better, and I'm not knocking mm. on the fish oils because I'm a big fan of fish oils, regardless of which source they are. Yeah. Um, so I like it for that reason, but the reason I love it <laughs> is the astaxanthin in it, um, which is that potent antioxidant. I love astaxanthin. Does krill contain astaxanthin? It contains astaxanthin, and from Ooh. my understanding, that is also the reason. Yes, it's look. Never... They're pink. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. The capsules are pink because of the um, astaxanthin. It's the astaxanthin, and it doesn't repeat. I've never had a fish oil. I've been taking fish oil. Yeah, you get kind of fishy burps. It's not good, is it? Never get that with krill. I've never got that. How interesting. And it's also also very pure, isn't it? Because it comes from the Arctic. Yeah, Antarctic, even with low pollutants and heavy metals like dioxins. Um, so it's, it's one of the potentially lower pollutants. I mean, gosh, our poor world at the moment. But as, as the world goes, it's one of the, the lowest, it's certainly at the lowest. And How brilliant. So you're really getting a lot of good value here because you're getting your yeah. omega-3s yeah. and your astaxanthin. So it's, it's your omega-3s mm. so and your, all the benefits that you get from fish oils with the astaxanthin. And then the added bonus that it doesn't repeat. <laughs> I just love that. Fantastic. <laughs> it says two to four capsules daily. Do you take them all together? I do. Yeah. I and do. and how, how many do you take? Four. You t- <laughs> Actually, I take five. You take honest. five? <laughs> it's like me and my ingenious beauty collagen. It says take three and I take four. You know? Yeah, exactly. But I have <laughs> spoken to the founders and they've said it's absolutely fine and you'll just get even yeah. more results. So Exactly. That's and it's similar with this. Yeah. Brilliant. And we get discount on everything, do we? Yes, you do. She says greedily. Everybody does, Thank yes. you. Good. Good, good. And have you got plenty of stock? Because I know last time we talked about Amino Slim, it went out of stock for ages. Oh, and I know a lot of people... Have, so, I, I'm going to say yes right now. <laughs> okay. Okay. We'll save some for me because I will be back on your website. Have a fantastic trip Thank to um, Jolly France and hopefully be back with you very soon. And we will podcast, yeah? Yes. I want to get more Brilliant. information from your brain to share with everybody. 
Thank you very much. Thank nice you. to see you. So sweet. lovely to be on. Big hearts. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, that's it. You're going to have to click goodbye. Oh, wasn't that so good? Do you know, it's so weird because I think, you know, writing for the magazine and my website and everything, you know, I think I know a reasonable amount about a reasonable amount of things. And, you know, when I have a guest who comes back on, you know, time after time, like Zana, I'm thinking, you know, well, what should we chat about today? And I always learn something new. And she always just re-inspires and reinforces all these positive messages that it's never too late, there's stuff we can do, there's simple things that we can do, it's not complicated, little things that we can add in, we don't have to give stuff up, we can just add in some more stuff. Yeah, so Willow Table Florida, hi, are you new? I do my lives every Tuesday and Thursday, uh, 12.30 to 1.30 UK time, and we do save them, you can watch them all on YouTube, so the Liz Our Wellbeing YouTube, make sure that you are subscribed to that because YouTube is a busy place and you need to be able to cut through a lot of the noise. Um, but if you subscribe, then it just means that our stuff pops up at the beginning of your um, feed. So my goodness, I've just realized the time. We're, we're getting carried away, aren't we? I need to go. A um, couple of other things just to mention before I go now that we're on the subject of fitness is a number of you asking what I'm wearing. This is one of my favorite tops. You've seen me wear it so many times. It's Asquith. And it's a British, great British exercise brand. They do a lot of really comfy stuff in bamboo. I've had this top for years. I reckon I've had it for maybe four years, maybe more. Um, wear it all the time, wash it all the time. It holds its shape. It's got like a little built-in bra support. Love it. And there's 15% off everything on Asquith if you want to use Liz Loves. A um, couple of other things that I really like using. Uh, Butterfat Keto. I use that in my tea and coffee during the day to keep me fuller for longer. That's got the MCT oil. There is 15% off that with Liz Loves. Indie supplements, this is another of my favorite things. So if I'm making a shake, I will often use Zana's protein powder, maybe a little bit of chlorella, whatever. But I love the Indie Body supplements. They've got Indie Body, Indie Mind, Indie Tone. Go and check them out because we do have 15% off those as well. When they first started to make this, they found that it clumped and went hard. So what they've got now, which I think is genius, is they've repackaged it in these little sachets. And because I'm going to be doing some traveling in the next few weeks, I'm going to take these with me. Because look, single serving sachets. Isn't that clever? So really, really good to know about them. So go and check out Indie Supplements if you're interested. If this whole chat has inspired you to just go for it these next few months. Um, I have got an ebook. it's called A Stronger Slimmer You, so if you want to do some safe exercising at home, you don't need equipment, you don't need a gym, it's exercises that I do at home, it's the stuff that I do with Michael Gary, it's all been designed by him, really, really good, particularly if you're perhaps not so mobile, if you want to have some really good exercises. There's a lot in there about using weights as well, safely, and getting really good value out of your exercises. So not wasting time on stuff that doesn't work, but really drilling down. So that is the Stronger Slimmer You ebook, uh, which you'll find on Liz Our Wellbeing. And just quickly to say, it's the last chance, if you're into your Gua Sha, Hey You Method, I was doing this this morning, my little Gua Sha, we have our discount code on that. So this is 20% off but it expires on the 30th of April. Okay, so it's kind of a last call. This is what I do in the morning, just to de-puff my eyes. The shape of it is really good. We've got lovely features actually, all about Gua Sha on Liz Our Wellbeing. I get a tight jaw just here, so I kind of work it into here. Oh, it feels really good. Um, and the other one that I like from Katie Brindle is her little pink quartz. This de-puffs your eyes. It's just genius, I love it. And then you can even, if you feel so inclined, do some body combing with her body combs. So particularly, you know, if you're thinking about targeting the tummy, you're using your Amino Slim for the belly fat, this is what you can do. I've actually got two of these just because it saves time. I have these in the shower and you're just literally kind of combing your body. She's got loads of tutorials on her website. It's, they are really good. Once you've started, you won't want to stop. So that is the Hey You Method. Um, we'll pop links on Facebook. You'll, f you'll find it all on Liz Our Wellbeing if you want to. But that is Liz Loves gives you 20% off. And if you would like the magazine, ta-da! Last chance. 
to get the current issue because we have got the new magazine coming out soon. So if you want to subscribe, if you subscribe now, you can choose which issue you subscribe to. So you can either start with this one if you don't have it, or you can get your subscription that starts from next month. And if you take out your year's subscriptions, you get six issues, one every other month, on direct debit, then you get your free vitamins. And these are the eye health vitamins from MTHK with Professor Dawn Sim. Do you remember her? Great live we did with her, if you remember her, talking all about those carotenoids for eye health. Really important, macular degeneration, cataracts, all of that as we age. Anyway, that is it for today. I'm going to be back from an interesting location on Tuesday. Yeah, I'm packing my travel bag. So I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to surprise you. Um, and we're going to be talking about gut health. So we've got a bit of an IBS gut health special going on, which I think will be really interesting for a lot of us. I'm going to be talking to a qualified nutritional therapist, um, really looking into gut health issues, IBS, bloating, all of that, because I know that that's such a big problem for so many. But that is it for today. I'm going to go and have a cup of coffee with my creatine. Let me just get the right pot. Which one is my creatine? There we go. With my creatine and my peanut butter and oat cookies. So easy to make. If you make them, let me know. Pop a picture on Facebook or Instagram. Tag me. I'd love to see. But have a great rest of the week and I look forward to being back with you live next Tuesday. I've got a new podcast going out tomorrow. Oh my goodness, don't miss it. It is so good. It Honestly, if you're at all fascinated by psychedelics, magic mushrooms, nootropics, anxiety, depression, trauma, it's amazing, really. Put a note in your diary now. Listen to Liz's podcast tomorrow. So that's all I'm going to say. It's a great, great listen. Have a lovely weekend. And um, yeah, travel capsule wardrobe. Okay, I will definitely, as I pack for my travels, I will definitely, um, maybe I'll make a little film, pop it on YouTube. Yeah, anyway. Have a great rest of the day. Thank you for being with me. In my hearts. Bye-bye.